What's up, community? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? We got Mikey in the building. Y'all get him a bed by myself yesterday, but I feel like <laughs> he wasn't bad. Like, I didn't, like, make a big mess. He wasn't, like, scared or anything, but I think he was, like, cold because he was shaking. So, um... I don't think he enjoyed it as much as I would have liked him to enjoy it. Um, but I still feel like he stank, though. So, I don't know that Burt's Bees um, shampoo didn't have no scent to it. I need something that make him smell nice. So, I went and bought him some um, some doggy cologne from Amazon. So, I'm waiting for that to come through. But anyway, y'all, I am late as ever. It is 7. Not 7. It's not even 7, girl. What you talking about? It is 8.40. I dropped off Prince's school a little after 8 a.m. And now I'm going to Wendy's to get some breakfast because I know I'm not going to... I know I'm not going to make nothing. What if I have them? Yes, may I have the French toast sticks by itself? A four piece or six piece? Uh, four piece. And them? Yes, and a bacon, egg, and cheese, um, croissant? not the croissant, like the, um, biscuit, not the biscuit, what's the little bun looking thing? I'm not sure which one you're okay. talking about. The one that comes on the number nine. Oh, the roll? Yeah. And then? Um, I want, well, just make it a number nine with, um, with an ice cream. credit card company called me oh Mikey you all up in my grill I know because he smelled that food he trying to be all in my face but my credit card company called me I've been paying off my credit cards mostly to try to get ready for Christmas so I can budget myself um, but I paid off one um, yesterday was it yesterday or the day before whatever and now I'm trying to pay off this other one and then I have one more to pay off. And that one probably won't get paid off to the beginning of the year. But, you know, we we getting there. We getting there. Y'all, Christmas is coming up. And I always tell myself every year that I'm going to start saving for Christmas in the beginning of the year, right? So, at the end of the year, I'm not trying to figure out, ooh, child, what's my budget? What am, what am I going to get for this? What am I going to get for that? And here I am yet again. In the same boat I was in last year. So we trying to do a little bit better and try to start preparing for it in October. That's better than what I did because I'm one of those people that would shop last minute. Like I'm I'm one of those people that's shopping two, three days before Christmas. Okay. Right. So October, we doing good. We making we making steps toward it. So tell me, how do you guys prepare for Christmas? Are you one of those people that save throughout the year? Are you a last-minute shopper like me? Are you, um... He doesn't see me. He doesn't come on out the car. Come on out the car. I got something for you. He not scared of you, Mikey. He not. Mikey. 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 He not scared of you. Okay? So you doing all you wasting all that energy for nothing. See? You see what you're doing? Wasting all that energy? You better calm yourself yeah. down. Months, a month and a half before the end of the year. And then I know your um time um will start over and you'll have you know more sick time and, and whatnot but just remember that you're still on that corrective action so we really need to focus on eliminating any unplanned time of work so when your time does start over i do know that um you have children if you need time off um if it's not able to be approved then i strongly suggest getting in touch with whitney and trying to um figure out what you two can do to kind of get approved time so that way you don't have any unplanned or unexcused time to count to count against you um, because that will go towards um, a strike towards a 
in the wrong direction and we don't want that so just really stay in touch with Whitney and get things worked out to avoid any further disciplinary action regarding um, playing time away from work um, but I just wanted to, to bring that up to you because um, I got the update back from HR and I didn't want to just have that corrective action fall on Whitney since I initiated that so I just wanted to follow up with you and let you know that that it is in effect any questions for me? I just want to know how to find this in Workday. I've been trying to find the first one, and I don't know how to find it. Yeah, I can um, show you. This one hasn't come to you yet. So um, after this meeting, so Whitney, if you want to go ahead and submit it, you can submit it, and she'll get that pop-up in Workday. Um, but if you share, if you want to share your screen, Kimberly, I can show you how to to access your um, corrective actions and work day. Okay, guys, what y'all just saw was me in a meeting with my um, previous supervisor and my current supervisor talking about the end results of my write-up, which I already knew because the HR lady called me immediately. And we are, I already talked to you guys about it, that it was sticking and whatever. But she just had to meet with me to let me know that it was sticking. Um, it is what it is. But my thing is, I cannot find it under my performance things. I should be able to see any corrective action against me. And that's what we were starting to look for. Like, they can't tell me where to find it. So I have reached out to the HR lady that um, I've been working with to see, where is it, honey? Because I want to print it out. I want a copy of it. I want the dates. I, I need to be able to see it. Otherwise, if I can't see it, then it's not, to me, it, it, it's not there. Okay? Anyway. It is what it is. But that, that whole meeting done pissed me off again. I'm about ready to cry because I, I thought I would never see her again. Like, literally. I wanted to reach to the string and strangle her. But, you know, work be work, right? We still gonna have a good Friday. Mm, I'm so pissed right now. I'm not gonna eat no bacon. <laughs> but that's what I wanna do. I wanna go fry me up some bacon and have a whole bacon sandwich. And I just ate bacon. I literally just had bacon, egg, and cheese from Wendy's. And I want some more bacon right now. But we not. We're not. We're gonna get some water. <laughs> I'm thinking about Whitaker's Way right now because I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm trying to like reprogram my mind. We're going to get some water. <laughs> We're going to chill out. We're going to take a break. It is what it is. Y'all. <sighs> mm -mm. Hey guys, it's about 7.30. I got through my work day fine. I didn't cry, although I was this close. I walked Mikey already. We ordered some food. I ordered pizza for Prince and oh I put no, myself. Let's do an OC this. Um, I ordered from this Vietnamese restaurant um, some pasta and chicken. Anywho, it was really good. I actually didn't even finish it all. I need to get up and clean and pack for my trip tomorrow because tomorrow's going to be a pretty busy day because Mikey has a vet appointment. I don't even know what these vet appointments are for at this point. Like, they keep giving him booster shots or... Honey, I don't know. All I know is he... I'm going to get everything that I'm paying for because I'm paying for this, like, monthly fee of, like, $40 a month for this... Um, veterinarian. Anyway, so as long as it ain't cost me no money when I go in, I'm fine with, you know, the vaccines and stuff they're giving him. I don't mind taking him and getting the boosters or whatever it is that I need to get from him or for him. So tomorrow he has that and then after that is Prince soccer game and after that I'm driving to Raleigh, which is about a two and a half hour drive to help my sister get ready for this prom. What? Now, I need to talk to my brother because we're supposed to be going to his house. And I don't exactly know what all the logistics is going to be about. 
<sighs> I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Because it's a lot of unknowns to this. So, but I'll be taking you guys along to the on the road trip and everything. So, yeah, that's what the plan is. So, I need to go ahead and pack. It'll be an early morning tomorrow. So, I'm trying to rest up. And then I'm going to get up. And um, I already washed all the clothes. I just need to clean. And I'm taking Mikey with me. So, I need to pack all his stuff. Too. It's a lot. It's a lot. It, and it's making me overwhelmed. When I think about it, I just. Pack all um, Mikey stuff? I just don't want to do anything. I just got to pack his food, his bowls, and his dog bed. But, um, I don't even know. I don't even know, y'all. And then Prince, I got to pack clothes. Um, he's going to wear his same pair of shoes. We're going to the fair on Sunday. Yeah, it's, it starts on Sunday, right? Oh, uh, actually, it started on last week, but it'll still be there when we get there. Okay. And then, um, what else? So, Sunday, the fair, and then we're going to come back home. So, we got prepping for the prom, going to the prom, and then Sunday is the fair, and then coming back home. So it's a jam packed weekend and I have not packed anything. I gotta remember to pack all the makeup, all the things for Prince, all the things for me, all the things for Mikey. It's just a lot for like for like an overnight stay. It's a lot. You feel me? It's a lot for an overnight stay. So, honey, y'all pray for me because I feel like my weekends be just as busy as during the week. Like weekends it ain't work i'm not working but i'm working if you know what i mean so i'm just gonna um if i do anything i i i'll film it but i think i might want to end the vlog here so i'm gonna holla at y'all thank you so much for watching love you bye ew prince what are you doing yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>